Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these two optical illusions of a cone and a pyramid in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started with the cone. We're going to begin on an artboard that's 1920 by 1080 pixels and let's start by selecting the line segment tool and then clicking and making a line that's about 200 pixels long. Change the stroke to it to, to about 20 pixels like that and then select the line hold alt and shift and move it upwards by about 40 points so twice the line's width and then press ctrl d and repeat this until you have maybe about seven lines six or seven lines okay now select this entire shape and hold alt and shift and move it just to the side we need two instances of the shape i'll show you why in a moment now open your symbols tab and with this shape or this shape uh, selected click and drag it into here to make a symbol just accept all of this and just press ok now let's begin making our triangle. We do that by clicking on the rectangle tool and switching to the polygon tool. So I'm just clicking and holding and then make one click and make a polygon with three sides. That's about 150 pixels and press OK. Now we don't want it to have a stroke. We want it to have a fill and you want the fill to be something other than black. So I'm just going to switch it to this pink. Now select your triangle, press A, which is your direct select key, select this anchor and Hold shift and move it till it's right underneath of this one. So you have this straight line like that. Good. Then select your entire shape like this. We can zoom in a bit. Go to effect, 3D, revolve. And now it's gonna make this kind of cone shape, which is perfect. Switch these angles to zero, to zero. So that's straight like us. And incline it a bit towards us. So it's about minus 21. You see that it inclines slightly towards us. Then we're going to go to map art and here in the symbol bit right here, we're going to go to new symbol. This is our lines and this is how you add symbols to these 3D shapes. Then we're going to do scale to fit like that. And then that's it. We just go, ah, sorry. And then we click on invisible geometry. That's going to get rid of this pink bit. And then we press OK and then just press OK. Good. Now select the shape right here. We're almost done. We go to object, expand appearance and then right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup. You have to do it twice. Then select this kind of line that's sitting in the background. You see those lines that are the lines that we want to see and these ones back here. Select that and just press delete and you're done. You've created your shape, it's that simple. Cool, so now you've created your, your cone. Now let's create the pyramid illusion. So again, we're gonna click on a polygon tool, make one click, and triangle that's 150 points so three sides press ok and we're going to zoom into here and we're going to squish this triangle just a little bit like this so till it's quite narrow like that the more narrow that you get it uh, the flatter the base of the triangle will be uh, you'll see this in a moment so having done that we're going to select this shape the one that we didn't use as a symbol and go to object expand and we want to expand the stroke, not the fill. Okay, press OK, and we move it down to here. So move it till it intersects the bottom right here and squish it so it hits the top. Make sure that's all right. And then move it so it overlaps this entire shape. Now, we can right click on it, go to arrange, bring to the front, then select all of this. And we're just gonna go to the Pathfinder tool and press divide. This is going to give us these stripes. Now, when we divide, we always have to right click and ungroup. And then we can select these lines that are on the outside of the pyramid. Press delete, select these lines and delete. Then we can select these pink bits, delete that, delete, 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 delete. Okay. So this is the basis of our pyramid. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use our line segment tool to create a guideline. So I'm going to create a straight line from the top of the pyramid downwards like that. And it doesn't have to have any color. It just needs to be there. We're going to use it as a guide. Then select your pyramid, but don't select the line and press R and click on this anchor point. R is your rotate tool. By here, we're going to rotate it on that and select this anchor point in the bottom right hand corner. Hold it until it snaps to that invisible guideline that we made before. So you see? It snapped. Perfect. Now, with the R tool still selected, select this point right here 
and hold Alt. And we're gonna move it to the other side of the guideline till it snaps right there. And once we've done that, our pyramid is done. It's as simple as that. Now we can select our pyramid. We can bring it up to here. You can see that uh, you can adjust the height, the width, and all those features like that. So that's how you make these two different optical illusions. It's really that simple. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out our other optical illusion videos that we have. Um, hit the like button. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Subscribe. And of course, as always, have a great day.